Diego Pacheco versus Enrique Colazo. To those who don't know, they recently fought over in Vegas in the undercard of the Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin 3 fight. Fight was shown live on the zone, it was shown for free here on YouTube as well. You can watch actually the full fight right here on YouTube. Just go to uh, Matchroom's official YouTube channel and they uh, posted it there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the fight lasted five rounds with uh, Pacheco winning the fight by TKO in round number five. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had guests over, so I wasn't really uh, able to fully pay attention to the fight. And I know I could just watch the full fight right here, right now, but I just don't have time right now to watch 20 minutes of the fight. Um, yeah, I, I, but based on what I was seeing uh, when it was happening live, uh, it looks like Pacheco was having the better exchanges or landing the cleaner punches. And I remember him trying to land that right hand. Uh, early on sometime during the fight early in the fight but then uh, you know he wasn't really that accurate with it but eventually he was able to land it clean drop Colazo in the fifth round Colazo was able to get up you know he was on wobbly legs but he was able to get up um, and uh, the referee let him continue fighting he was on survival mode but in the end he was taking too much punishment I think the fight was like 30 seconds left in the fight um, and referee waved the fight off and uh, Pacheco gets the stoppage TKO win in the fifth round and with this win Diego Pacheco remains undefeated 16 and 0 now as a pro 13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO I've always said and I'll say it again Pacheco in my opinion is a future top contender and definitely a future uh, fight fight uh, world champion eventually depending on how the uh, well 168 pound division looks in the future I mean right now the main man of the division is Canelo Alvarez. I don't think Pacheco is ready to fight him anytime soon. But, uh, you know, in box rec, he's currently ranked number 53 out of 1,300 fighters uh, on box rec. So that's pretty good, if you ask me. And if he keeps this up and keeps winning fight after fight, then he'll continue to uh, you know be in there and uh, get the wins. And eventually, he'll fight a top contender. I, I say I say, this was his second scheduled 10-rounder. Um, maybe two more ten round, or maybe two more fights where he's the favorite to win, and then he fights a top contender in the uh, super middleweight division. Uh, so maybe around his nineteenth pro fight, I think he he should be ready to fight a top contender by then. Um, but yeah, good win from Pacheco, giving uh, Enrique his uh, third loss in his pro career um, at the age of thirty three years old now. Uh, who knows what Enrique plans to do maybe time to think about what's next after boxing losing two in a row now uh, he lost by disqualification in his last fight so who knows what's next for Enrique um, back to the drawing board for him I guess but yeah he took a big shot there uh, he, he, he was not going to recover from that even if he survived the round I think uh, Pacheco was going to land another big right hand so anyway if you start a fight let me know what did you think about in the comments Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Congrats to uh, Diego Pacheco on the win again. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.